Thomas at the point. Swing it over to the left side to Deshaun Burke and a pull up from the high right side, a three-point jumper. Good for Matty McConnell and the Colonials take the early lead. Hawks lead four to three. And that wasn't bad defense. Here's McConnell penetrating, kick out to John Williams. A three-point shot from the same spot where McConnell connected, and it's good. And the Colonials are up six to four. As we're and a rebound to John Williams. Fast break, Robert Morris, Kobe Thomas with a scoop layup. It's up and good. That's what Kobe Thomas needs to do, especially early in the game. Go to the basket. That's where his strength is rather than shoot threes. Corner gives it to Thomas. Thomas comes to Burke. Burke circles down to the left side. Coleman's open from deep range, and he sails in a three ball. And the Colonials lead 13 to 8. And that's just a really nice penetration play by uh, Deshaun Burke and then knocked down by Chris Coleman. Inside out play, Scott with a jump shot. It hit the rim, bounced up into the sky, and then went down through the hole for a three-point answer right there. Drive in, he'll bank in. It's no good, and a run and rebound for Deshaun Burke. Two on two with Thomas trailing the play, getting the lay in, count it, and a foul. Love Kobe Thomas in the open court. He is just hard to stop on that wing because he can... Rise up over defenders. Basket gets himself off to a good start. Gets some confidence. Washington Ives feeds it. And running down the right lane is Divine Eck. And he's able to put it up and in. And he gets fouled on the play. Again, the Colonials just whipping the ball around the floor. Here's McConnell. Diagonal pass, top of the key. John Williams hits a three-point shot. And the Colonials take. A lead of 23 to 17, they're up six. Yeah, Colonials are hot from three-point line. I hope they can uh, maintain it, because you, you need to get some layups sometime, but uh, Colonials will take these threes right now. They're red hot. Six points for John Williams, and now a long answer up front for the Ryder Brock. His first basket of the game. Here's a nice bounce pass into the low post. Ronnie Gombe came in at that last time out, and Gombe is able to pick it up off the floor and knock it down. John Williams. Williams heads down front, goes to McConnell, faces, pulls up, fires a triple. It's good for Matthew McConnell. Boy, Jordan Allen was on Matty McConnell, and he's looking over at Coach Say, what do you want me to do? 30-23, Robert Morris by seven. Here's Durham out front, lost the handle, picked it back up, sends it out wider. Wow. Left side three is good for right side. It'll be Matty McConnell on the wing. McConnell gets a pick from David Cole, comes around to the left, pull up three. It's good for John Williams. And the freshman continues to shine here in his last three ball games. Yeah, John Williams was shooting about 16% for the first seven games of the year, but he has really come on now. Here's Scott wow. from the outside, and oh man, he just sent an NBA three in there. Played at Canisius, now working on his Masters of Business Administration for Robert Morris, and right now he's working down low, hard, and he weaseled his way between three guys and got a spin layup. Yeah, nice ball movement that time. It's Tyree Randall, he knocked it down, Ryder leads by two. But Deshaun Burke will run the floor, he'll get the flying, leaping layup and count it, and a foul as well against the Bronx. And this one. play, Matty went down hard. No whistle, Ryder ends up getting the ball. They go low post on the coast to coast break. And Demencio Vaughn gets a double clutch layup and scores. And now the game is tied at 44 all. And, and Vaughn will pick up his dribble after a couple of bounces out to Allen, to Durham. Inside it goes, Marshall with a jump hook with the left hand is good. And Ryder takes the first lead of the half. Where and finally Durham backs up dribbling with it. Sends it over to the right wing side, a banked in three point shot will go down for Jordan Allen. Yeah, Jordan Allen hasn't scored much tonight. Windmill layup try, no good. Another opportunity for Marshall inside is no good. The ball hits the floor. And again, Durham comes up with it way out front. Send it over to Allen, left side corner, three point shot goes in. And Ryder jumps out to a 54 to 46 advantage. But McConnell said no. McConnell's done a great job on Allen. He's averaging 18 a game, he has five. Here's a pull up jumper, deep right corner, Chris Coleman. He should be coming in soon, Chris, because their offense just is not doesn't uh, flow as smoothly when he's not on the floor. Case in point, shot clock down to three. Step back jumper for three. How about Day Day, Deshaun Burke? And he cuts the deficit down to four. Side to Chris Coleman. Back over to the right side to Deshaun Burke. Into the corner he comes. John Williams out of there with it, getting heads, trapped, double team, got it off Kobe Thomas. There you a go. dagger for a three from the deep right corner, and the Colonials are down by a triple right now, 60 to 57. Marshall back to the basket. He'll try to drive in, and Ronnie Gampe pokes it loose. It's stolen. Here comes Chris Coleman down the floor. Layup up and good! Count it! 
and a foul, and an opportunity to tie this ball game up. The Colonials trail. He'll be one of the all-time greats here. Alley oop back door. Kobe Thomas from Maddie McConnell. And Thomas running the wheel route all the way down to the low post. Inbound into a full court press. John Williams no looks it back to him. Bounce pass. Malik Petaway. Slam dunk from Thomas. There's the Malik Petaway we're waiting for. He ran the floor. And what a pretty pass by Kobe Thomas. Six point Robert Morris lead. Inside Marshall. Shot blocked by Petaway. It's loose. Day-Day, two-on-one break, Thomas, finger roll, layup, score! Robert Morris is up, eight points now, and Ryder has to call a timeout. Kevin Baggett wants to stop the tornado. Jump pass over to the left side corner. Bain hit the side of the backboard, trying to alter the shot because he had a hand of Frederick Scott right in his eyeballs. And now down at the other end of the floor, a pull-up jumper by Jordan Allen for three. Now the shot clock down to nine. Deshaun Burke all the way up top, drives in, leaves his feet. Dumps it off to McConnell, a three-point shot, hits rim, no good! It's tapped up into the air, pumped back down by Kobe Thomas on a follow-through, and the whistle blows, and there's a foul inside the lane as well. Yeah, that's the kind of play that Kobe Thomas can make for you. He's such an outstanding leaper. He could be a great offensive rebounder if he puts his mind to it. Catch back to Kobe Thomas at the point. There it is. Here's Thomas, give and go down the lane, right side, and a double-handed flush. And the Colonials are up 74 to 70 with 102 to go. Oh, what a great, great two-man game that time. Nine seconds to go. Shot clock turned off, four uh -oh. seconds left. Bond fires uh -oh. a three, and a pull-up jumper is good. It's okay. Let him shoot from anywhere, just don't foul him. Allen, yes. from beyond the half-court line, it's an air ball. Game is over. Robert Morris continues to be undefeated here at the PPG Paints Arena, dating back to last season. Tonight, they defeat the Ryder Bronx by a final score of 78 to 75. That was